Welcome, welcome, welcome all you precious treasures out there. It's Mama T here and today we're making giant bubbles! So, the secret to making giant bubbles is two things. First, the recipe. Second, the bubble wand. Here's the secret bubble recipe. It's so weird because there's powders in there and you wouldn't think that there would be a powder, but it's 12 cups of water, one cup Dawn dish soap, the brand matters, one cup cornstarch, two tablespoons baking powder, not baking soda, and two tablespoons of glycerin. I've doubled the recipe so we can make a lot of it because the recipe only called for six cups of water, but we want to make a lot of bubbles. So it's really important when you're making your bubble mixture that you start with the water. That has to be the first thing that goes in your pot. So first we're going to fill it up with a hose that is turned on. <laughs> All right. There's four cups. Do your right. math. How many of these do we need? You pour that in for Three me, of please, them. Jubilee. They're too small. Go big four. Thanks, okay, we've got to keep going. All right, we four more cups. A little bit more. A little bit more. Alright. Four. No, that's gonna be perfect. Stay away. I don't Eight. Alright, four more cups of water and then we'll be good. Can I pull one? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Twelve. You'll get to pour the soap in, okay? Oh, okay, next thing we're adding our Dawn dish soap. Dawn's the best soap. <laughs> For bubbles, yes it is. <laughs> Is like the owner's name Don? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks like uh, dish soap is... smells good. We are not being sponsored by Don Dish Soap. We just really like this. <laughs> just soap. for the record, it's just according to bubble experts, it is the best. All right, we are topped up. Clark, will you pour this in for us? Maybe a yes, little extra. Yes, Blue. Ed, can you hold All right. Words. I can. Good job. Okay, you pour that in there. And we're going to try not to make bubbles. So if you can get your hand right down in there, yeah, yeah, dump it in, and you can kind of swoosh the water around. No, we don't want to pour it because having frothiness around there is bad for bubbles. That's oh. something that I learned. Mm -hmm. Next thing we're going to add is our cornstarch. We're going to use our rather soapy measuring cup. <laughs> I'll just add this part in. <laughs> part of the mix in. <laughs> This is a little bit messy. It's a good idea to be doing this outside. Look at look at the grass. What I've done to the poor grass. It's a stuffy grass. Ow, my foot. Okay. Can I mix it? So I'm gonna use my wooden spoon here. Now we might be able to mix it, Mom. Yes, you can start giving it a bit of a stir there. You're learning the ways of bubble mixing. Okay. What's the next thing on our ingredient list there? It says. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Not, Boop. Baking. Not baking soda. Not baking soda. All right, we have our baking powder next going in. Jubilee, can I use that spoon for a second? Load the baking powder. Load the cannons. Oh, I should not be doing this into the mixture. There we go. <laughs> it has to be perfect. And one more. Oh, it's like a clump. That's yes. awesome. So I'm using the spoon to make sure that, that it's an exact measurement. All right, mixer. Mix it up there. All right, last but not least is our glycerin. glycerin. This took some hunting in the, in the store to find it. A little bit tricky. It was in the pharmacy section. Ooh, okay, clear. Clark, come pour it in. I what? thought that was gonna be like. This oh. is an ingredient I've never used before in my giant bubbles. It's always been just the other things. So hmm. we're gonna see what happens when we add our glycerin. In our one more. Okay, get it right down here. We try not to get froth in there, remember. I can't smell it. In our witch's brew. All right. What do we do when this froth Okay, comes? everybody grab an ingredient and bring it inside. Woo! All right. I'll hold this. You carry that. I got the glycerin. Jubilee, you take that. And who's got an extra hand? Oh, me. So the cornstarch in your mixture is going to want to sit on the very bottom of the pot. I don't know if you guys have ever made magic mud or ubelek before, but it wants to be sort of on the bottom. And so I'm really having to like press the spoon. You might need a grown up even to help you to, to get it all up off the off that bottom there. And you can see that there's some froth building up. 
And so to get rid of that, you can actually just scoop it right off. Look at that. Boop. And get it out of your pot. If you rather not get it on your grass, you can just put it in a little bowl. So this is our bubble wand. This is the Klutz brand one and it's fantastic. I really like it. It's got this long stick and then there's this piece that shifts along the stick. You can see a bubble's wanting to come out already. And then there's these two parts. So what you do is you dip it in closed and then we lift it up. You ready for the magic? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, good golly. I really love that. Okay, let's do another one. glycerin really makes a big difference. These bubbles are bigger, they're staying intact longer than, than without it. So if you can splurge on a little glycerin, it's worth it. What a blast that was. I hope you guys had fun. I want to see your pictures of you guys doing your bubbles. Draw it or click a picture or put it on my Facebook. I'd love to see it. Remember, remember, remember that you are a treasure and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Oh, <laughs> sorry.